Well, I thought to give a try on this Demon Slayer, Kimetsu no Yaiba, Mugen Train. It's a long title, and I honestly don't really give a shit. But I saw it mainly to tick a few boxes. It's an adult animation. It's not a URPG. It's a 15 or rated R. It's subtitled. I saw a sub version of it. Can you say that? It's from Japan. It's foreign. It's not American or British. Or even Chinese. They're a grown market. And it's from a distributor I'm not too familiar with and I haven't seen many of their films. So, overall, the film itself, eh, you know, I've never heard of Demon Slayer. I, I don't even know what it was until this film came out. Because someone was telling me, oh, y y there was a film that somehow was rated R and it's animated it's Japanese and foreign with subtitles on some of the showings it made almost number two or number one at the US box office I was like what? during a pandemic? that was that's I, I was absolutely gobsmacked I thought that that's it that can't be real right? and he said oh yes it was real and needless to say I had to see it for myself because I've never heard of something quite like this ever happening, at least in my lifetime. I mean, you know, back in the day you had you know, Fritz the Cat. I was a little too young for South Park, Big Along and Uncut when that came out. Even though I, I do remember when it did come out, I, I was like, oh man, I could my, I begged my parents, but they said no. Team America, when that came out, Sausage Party, and you know, many other films that sort of incorporate animation into an adult context, like Ted. Happy Time Murders, but this, you know, is not a CG or 2D film, it's not based on some sort of crazy adult swim, it airs late at night on Channel 4, Sky 1, Comedy Central, MTV sort of thing, like Beavis and Butthead do America, another film I couldn't see growing up, but I'm, I'm, I'm now old enough to watch anything these days, it's been going like that for quite a while, but yeah, you get a little bit regretful when you can't see stuff you couldn't when you were growing up. So I had to see it for myself, and uh, you know, the film Demon Slayer itself, I, I honestly didn't get what was going on, I didn't know any of the characters, I, I didn't really care that much, except I was laughing at the, one of the characters had like a boar's head, and one of the characters doesn't have a mouth, it's just like, <laughs> doesn't even really speak. It's like fucking Bane or something from Batman. Um, it was just... I was like absolutely confused at what was going on. I was mostly just focusing on why it was a 15, why it was rated R, MA15 in Australia, R13 in New Zealand, 14A in Canada. And yes, there was some graphic violence and gore. In a way, it was kind of similar to Princess Mononoke levels type of carnage. And that was a PG film, PG-13 or M, depending on where you are. Um, it, 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 it earns its 15, um, it, it, it doesn't shy away from certain details, but um, it could have gone even farther than it could have, um, maybe that's just me, I've seen a lot of extreme and violent stuff in my time, in, including animated stuff. Anime wise, I'm not a fan of much of the stuff that's out these days, uh, I'm, my favourite anime is XL Saga. Like, it was by, by Watanabe Shinichiro. Not Shinichi Wantanabe. No, Shinichi Wantanabe. I, I, I get confused. But it's not from the same people who done Cowboy Bebop. It's actually um, an animation of, it, of its own kind. Very funny. From the late 90s. And then Elfin Lead, which, like this one, is very gory, but also extremely violent. And very disturbing. I don't think both of those films aren't... I think Elfin Lead would uh, make people pass out. Uh, Demon Slayer doesn't have quite that effect on people, but... Who knows? Now I'm just talking out of my ass. But, um... Overall, it's just an attempt for me to box tick. And I'm happy to say that I did, but, um... I don't think I'm gonna be watching the TV show or anything like that. Because I was just absolutely confused and gobsmacked. What the hell was even going on? I was just like... Ah! And that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, feel free to... Stay tuned and see my review when I do Forever Purge and Space Jam New Legacy. Those are the two movies I'm really looking forward to. Toodles!